Hi, my name is Rachel G. Scott, host of Taking the Lead podcast and founder of the I Can't Come Down movement based here in Cleveland, Ohio. And today's verse of the day is Psalm 46 and 1, and it reads, God is our refuge and strength and very sufficient help in trouble. A couple months back, one of my children had a cold, and yes, those do still exist. <laughs> he was doing pretty well overall, except one particular night he was coughing profusely. So, of course, as a mom, I was up most of the night checking on him, listening to him, staring at him. But at one point, I fell asleep for about five minutes. And I remember in my sleep hearing his coughing, which eventually woke me back up. But I was exhausted. And I had tried everything that I knew to try. Honey, lemon tea, medicine, vitamins, everything. So at that moment, I placed my exhausted hand on his chest and I said these words. God, please help your son. That was all I could say. That was all I could think to pray. And to my amazement, within five minutes, the coughing started to slow down. And then within 10 minutes, it completely stopped for the rest of the night. I realize now that all that time, all I needed to do was invite God to help me. I didn't know how he would, but I had to believe that he could. Honestly, I used to see this scripture as a powerful statement or a good memory verse to hold on to. And although it is those things, it's so much more. Now I see it as an opportunity to invite God into any situation I need his help with. And this same opportunity is available to you. The opportunity to invite God into any place where you need his help. He wants to help you. He is ready to help you. He is available to help you. He just needs to be invited into that situation so that he can help you in his own unique and powerful way. So today, just ask and watch how he shows up for you. Be encouraged, family, and God bless. Amen. What I love the most is when she said, God will help you when you activate it by asking your freedom of will to ask him to help you in his unique and own powerful way. And mind you, his own unique powerful way will always be for the betterment and the development and the empowerment of you to be able to do what he has created you to do, which is good, which is to succeed and to do above and beyond what he has blessed you to do while you are here on earth. So today's on you version Bible app, it is Psalms 46, verse one. And it says, God is our refuge and strength and an ever present help in trouble. Ever present help in trouble. I am so in love with this. It says today's reflection question is, how is God giving you strength this week. It says, God is using others to encourage me. And that is so true. Um, I have been experiencing a lot of, in the workplace, you're not going to always get along with everyone and not everyone is going to want to care to get along or be professional with you. And I've been praying and I'm like, God, like, what is going on? I mean, I understand that everywhere I go, I bring you with me. And so the enemy wants me to do whatever I need, whatever he has to do to make me shake you off. That's just not going to happen. I got both hands and I'm not letting or ever letting go. And it's not until I had this conversation on my way to work with someone. We were talking about something and then it so it ended up in that conversation. She was talking about how her daughter was experiencing the same thing. But, um, you know, but the mother reminded her that, you know, because you are blessed and because you're a child of God and you have a good heart, no matter what adversities that come your way, you're not allowing those circumstances or situations to change the way you conduct. You're staying in that fruit of the spirit. And so the enemy is going to always do what it needs to do to try to get you to get off following Christ. And then it dawned on me. This is why God says to protect your heart. Because our enemies aren't those people. It, it, because they're, they're just a vessel for, well, the physical people that we deal with on a daily basis aren't our enemies. It's just the, they're a vessel for what the enemy is using to do what he's trying to do to make us and to hinder us from following Christ. And so this is why today is so crazy how I just, this all happened yesterday and I'm just now getting this as my daily devotion. I just feel like, God, thank you. And this is the beauty of reading the word of God and praying. And then God, you, cause that woman could have had a conversation. I could have not, and God, 
the Holy Spirit wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able to enlighten me and give me that epiphany. But then it just it was just so amazing how out of all the times, out of all the days, I just got a word yesterday to end today. And for, for that, I thank God for that. The second one is, it says, God has refreshed me with unexpected joy. I tell you, when I go through some, some madness in life, I, I just, I know the only place I'm going to find, the only true source I'm ever going to find joy in is in God. And so it's for that, I give him things. And then the third one is God is giving me hope for a better future. And I can place all of my eggs in God's basket. Why? Because God never fails so that he can get the glory. <laughs> that brings me to tears. I'm trying not to cry. That brings me to tears. So I'm going to say God has refreshed me with unexpected joy. Because let me tell you something. When, when I have happiness and joy, and I'm talking about a joy that is like, it, 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 I just, I'm chasing this joy. It only comes from God. And so let us go into that. Today's devotional in the Uversion Bible app is certainty amid uncertainty. And it says, Jesus is my refuge. And that is so true. I'm going to save them and just read. It says, we are living in a time when everything is different from what it, it was before. Those things that we consider to be certain are being revealed as uncertain. How can we feel safe and secure when our whole world is being shaken? When I first asked myself that, that was back in 2019 in October, because I had these series of dreams that I was like, I'm not understanding what's going on, but I know something's coming because that's what the dream is telling me. Something is coming and I need to get align myself with God because only God is going to guide me through it. And that's before COVID actually hit the U.S. And mind you, that was my mindset. And so we see here, it says in Psalm 46, one of the sons of Korah presents a similar situation taking place in his time. Using poetic language, he describes a terrifying situation. The earth is being removed. The mountains are being carried into the midst of the sea. The water is roaring and the mountains are shaking. In spite of it all, he decided not to fear. He does not give in to that ugly monster that arise when we forget who God is. Instead, he declares, God is our refuge, a very present help in trouble. When Jesus told Satan, it is written after the 40 days, this is what we must do. Even when it don't, we don't understand, even when it don't make sense, we declare it because we have the divine authority to declare the word of God because it is living, it is breathing, it is active. Whoa, amen. And then it says, when we find the word refuge in the Old Testament, it is often used in the context of a threat something dangerous happening around us. Sometimes the threat is physical, other times it's spiritual. We cannot avoid what is taking place around us, but like the psalmist, we can seek shelter from it. God offers refuge, but you need to take it. The action implies the placing of one's trust in the source of shelter to receive its benefits. God wants us to enjoy the benefits of being his beloved children. This sense of security that comes from the realization of his presence inside of us results in peace and joy. It fills us up with an unspeakable certainty in the midst of uncertainty. Who is the source of our security? Who makes you feel safe, protected? Who is the only person in the whole universe who really has everything under control and the power to protect you? His name is Jesus. And that is why I praise and thank him each and every day. It is all in the power and in the name of Jesus. 
So in Psalms 118, verse 8 through 9, we read, It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Put your trust in the ultimate source of life, protection, certainty, and love. Nothing and nobody in this world will ever give you a true security. And I am so grateful that no matter what, people, circumstances, and situations will always fail me. But God never fails. God is consistent. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And for that, I thank you, Lord. Jesus is the only real source. Let us get back. Jesus is the only real source of certainty in the midst of uncertainty. Let me repeat that. Jesus is the only real source of certainty in the midst of uncertainty. Repeat after me and let us declare this over our lives. And when you are going through it, you declare this. Write it down. Pause the video and you write this down. And when you are dealing with uncertainties, you declare this over your life, over your circumstances. Let us declare, Jesus, you are my refuge. In you, I find security amidst uncertainty. Today, I choose to take refuge in you and you alone. I have this assurance. You are my protection, my provider, my God. Therefore, I will not fear. And that is, and in his name we pray, amen. Let us get into today's prayer, which is a prayer of thanks for God's strength. Because remember, we are strong, not by our own might, but by the mighty strength of Jesus. And so let us pray and bow our heads. It says, God, you are my refuge and strength. You sustain my life each and every day. Thank you, Jesus. When I am in trouble, you help me overcome my circumstances. Thank you for giving me a future and hope. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. People, I tell you, if you have yet to download this YouVersion Bible app, I strongly suggest that you do. Whether you have a Bible or if you, especially if you don't, this right here is the true source of life, your true deliverer of, of adversities. It is incredible when in a world where everything is ever changing, God never changes and God is there for you and God will fulfill everything that he created you to do to succeed. And not only is he almighty and all powerful, he does all of this through us. We are, he uses us as his vessel, his children that he has created with the palm of his hands. Yet the beauty is all of this is done. Not only so we can continue seeing this beautiful ever everlasting circle of God continuing doing what he does for us and blessing us and sustaining us so that he can get the glory. And remember, don't forget to like, share, and comment. Whether it's my videos or other people's videos that you're sharing that are followers of Christ, keep in mind that you're not just sharing a regular video. You're sharing a video that is going to empower and uplift people because they're getting the gospel of the good news of Jesus Christ. So you have yourself a blessed day.